It's day 13 of the Body Shaping for Women Over 50 series and we've got cardio toning on tap. Grab your lightest dumbbells and let's go! All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Get your dumbbells completely out of the way and let's get started with some arm circles with high knees. Oh my goodness, that first one always feels so good. You guys, welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with your menopausal body. And I personally believe that one of the best ways to make peace with your menopausal body is to follow a body shaping program. <laughs> that we are almost in the middle of. How about, how about me just you know plugging my own program right when we're doing it, huh? <laughs> you guys, we are on day 13. In case you didn't know it, I feel like, I feel like the thumbnail is pretty clear, the title was pretty clear. I doubt that you just clicked on this one randomly, but just in case you did, we are almost halfway through a month-long body shaping program for women over 50. And you guys, this is how we shape our bodies with a program that is designed really specifically to help you get results that you are looking for. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Today is a great moderate cardio toning workout. Now, I'm emphasizing that to myself <laughs> because cardio toning, honestly, it really has the potential to be a little bit more than moderate. And so I really want you to come into this one with the intention, as I am, again, reminding myself, with the intention that we're keeping this one just nice and gentle today. I've got a super fun workout set up for us. We're doing step stools today, which is like one of my favorite things to do. I've got the handy dandy interval timer here set for 20 seconds of intervals. What we're gonna do is we've got these step stools. So handfuls of exercises that we're gonna add on one each each round until we get to a step stool size, which is not very big. <laughs> it adds up the work interval to a point where it can get a little bit past moderate. And so we're really gonna think about just keeping our intensity at the exact right pace for us today. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. Oh, welcome to Blossom's home. I thought I heard her coming out. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> this is my dog Blossom. She rarely makes appearances on camera. This is, she's gracing us with her presence today. That's so nice. Both of the cats are asleep in the room back there, which I don't, I doubt that you can see on camera. You might, if you know what you're looking for and you have me on playing on a big TV, you might be able to see Agatha asleep on the couch in the other room, but also you might not be able to. <laughs> You guys, speaking of TVs, if you are watching me on TV, make sure that you open up the description box when you are on desktop or mobile to get the 16 page information resource that goes along with this body shaping program. It explains everything that we're doing, why we're doing it, what results you're gonna get out of it, every, really everything that I forget to say while we're doing the workouts. Let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. I'm gonna pick up my very light dumbbells here. We're gonna get started with just one exercise interval. It's basically like an extended warm up. So let's go ahead and get going with that. Got our dumbbells. We're gonna get started with push, push, crunch, which is just what it sounds like. We're gonna push to the side, push to the side, and then sweep overhead for an oblique crunch. There we go. We're gonna push, push, and crunch. Now, as mentioned with these step stools, what that means is that this first exercise interval is just all by itself. After this, we're gonna rest for 20 seconds. If you have not ever done a step stool workout before, I know that you might be tempted to think, oh, that's like not much, Paula. This is really, this is kind of easy. Yes, it is. It starts off easy, but we're both climbing and descending these step stools today, which means that we're gonna get plenty of work Work intervals. When it beeps again, we're doing that push, push, crunch again, but we're adding on the booty kicker elbow swings. Like I, the booty kicker elbow swings. Like you knew that. Like you knew that. <laughs> we're adding on booty kicker elbow swings. Here we go with the push, push, crunch. It does, in fact, double the work interval. That is the fun part of these step stools is that we get some good quick transitions. We have some fun doing all kinds of different exercises. And then here we go with booty kicker elbow swings. And then when it beeps again, we get to rest again because we are still, we're still climbing the ladder <laughs> the next time. Our next work interval is going to be our longest one of the step stool. You're doing such a good job working at a pace that feels good, not too fast. Okay, and then 20 seconds of rest. This is what I love about a step stool workout. 
is that there's plenty of work to be done, especially when we're doing cardio toning. Sometimes I do it with just plain cardio, but especially when we're doing cardio toning, that we really get a chance to kind of moderate our heart rate. When it beeps again, we're doing push, push, crunch. We're adding on those uh, booty kicker elbow swings, and here we go with push, push, crunch, push, push and crunch, push, push and crunch. When it beeps, we're doing those booty kicker elbow swings again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You guys, I know I kind of I kind of front loaded this workout with these push push crunch. I did not want to do them later in the workout. Here we go with booty kick or elbow swings because I knew I knew how they were going to feel. When it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers. We're going to have hands up overhead and we're going to be reaching our opposite hand towards our opposite kicking foot. I always say towards because the fact is I'm never going to get my hand to actually touch my foot. <laughs> totally depends on your flexibility and your strength. Here we go. Hands up. One kick and the other kick. Making sure your core is pulled in super tight. You've probably done these toy soldiers with me before, but you might not have done them with light weights in your hand. When it beeps again, we're going to get 20 seconds of rest. This is the longest work interval of our step stool. <sighs> but then we are also descending the ladder. So the next time it beeps, we're going to do the push, push, crunch, plus the booty kicker elbow swings. We're dropping off those toy soldiers. Ha, <sighs> I know, right? <laughs> I want you to assess though really quickly. How are your dumbbells? Are they light enough? This is the thing about cardio toning, kind of like we were talking about. It can, here we go with push, push, crunch. It can evolve pretty quickly into a little bit past moderate. And I want you to be aware of that and really thinking about making sure that this whole workout feels moderate. It's okay if it feels sweaty. It's okay if it feels like work when it beeps again. Of course, we're doing those booty kicker elbow swings. Here we go for the final time. They're dropping off this round. This is what I love about descending the step stools is that it gets a little bit easier. So it gets tougher and then it gets easier when it beeps again we're getting that 20 seconds of rest but the thing about a cardio toning workout ah, 20 seconds of rest is that it's supposed to be very light dumbbells you are supposed to be able to move at more or less a cardio pace when it beeps again we're doing that push push crunch for the final time we have descended we're on the last rung of our step stool here so push push and crunch and then we're going to move on oh my gosh with a little bit of grunting to our next step stool after we get some more rest so with this protocol specifically, we do really get to moderate our heart rate at least by having changing work intervals. But I also want you to think about moderating. Here's 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're doing triceps curl downs. The weights are gonna start right here about your, about your chest area. We're gonna tap out to the side while curling down one arm at a time. It's, so it's a, it can get not jumpy because we are low impact today. We have absolutely no jumping, but it can get kind of quick when you're doing the tap out and the curl down. So be careful not to punch yourself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get a little bit of a bounce in your step if you'd like to. It's always up to you to make sure it's moderate for you. But here's what I keep trying to talk about. Ah, 20 seconds of rest with your dumbbells. If you have accidentally chosen something a little bit too heavy, go ahead and drop them down. Get a little bit lighter weights because this is not going to get easier as we go. When it beeps again, we're doing triceps curl downs and this time we're adding on can-cans. That is a knee and a kick on one side. So here we go with the triceps curl downs and then it's a knee and a kick on the other side. I did consciously try to think about our transitions today, knowing that we're transitioning from these exercises into each other. Some of them are going to be trickier than others. Don't worry about it. We're always just doing our best. So a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. And I'm doing a little bit of a front punch each time here. You are welcome to do that or not. Depends on what feels good to you, how your dumbbells feel, <laughs> whether or not they're a little too heavy. The other thing you can do really depending on what kind of equipment you have I I mean 20 seconds of rest here I'm a fitness professional I have I have more equipment than I'll ever be able to use I have so much equipment it's an embarrassment of riches honestly when it beeps again we're doing the triceps curl downs plus those can cans and then we're adding on double knees this is our biggest we're at the top of our step stool so triceps curl downs 
But I have at my fingertips really all kinds of weights in my dumbbells. If you don't have that much equipment and the only thing you have to choose from is something slightly too heavy for cardio toning, just go a lot slower. You can definitely still moderate this. Here we go with can-cans, one knee, one kick, one knee, one kick, and then the next time it beeps, we're doing double knees, which means that we've got both hands up overhead. We're gonna bring up one knee two times in a row on one side and then the other knee two times in a row on the other side. Hands are gonna go up and down over head, which is why, ha, my friends, <laughs> this is the only time we're doing this. This is the thing that I thought about with the step stool. We only have to do this for this one interval. Whew, doggies, because this gets tough, but it's only 20 seconds and you are definitely tougher. Whew, and there we go, 20 seconds of rest. Okay, that was our longest work interval. When it beeps again, we're gonna do the triceps curl downs plus the can-cans. We're climbing back down that step stool. You guys, through the course of this body shaping program, we really are working on basically every kind of system you can imagine. Here we go with the triceps curl downs. The reason I include a cardio toning plus push day plus a moderate strength day, honestly, is not to make you go out and have to buy all new dumbbells. <laughs> It's really not about that. It really is so that we are training all different kinds of systems in our body. Here we go with the can-cans for the final time. I was about to say third and final time, but I think we're past three. I, I've never tried to figure out how many times we do any of these things because frankly, I would not be able to keep it in my head, so I'm not gonna worry about it. When it beeps again, I know that we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest, and then we're gonna do those triceps curl downs for the final time we're climbing down to the very last rung of this step stool but the thing about the thing about shaping your body is that we want to make sure that we're doing a little bit of everything it's why I've got days where we're doing core strengthening work here we go with the triceps curl downs for the very last time why we're working on cardio endurance with our Sunday run day why we're working on big power moves with our heavy lifting on the push day. Cardio toning absolutely has a place in your program as well. When it beeps again, here we go, 20 seconds of rest. Okay, you guys, we're moving on to another step stool, starting with forward hinge arm flappers. Your hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks and your lower body's gonna be doing a deadlift. So you're really thinking about pushing your hips back and then pulling them forward. This is a quick motion, I will tell you, I have more than once smacked my hands together on this. So I actually try and keep my palms facing out so that if I'm gonna smack something, I'm smacking the dumbbells against each other. You do wanna be careful with that. <laughs> and yes, I've done it on camera and not sworn. <laughs> Thank goodness, 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those forward hinge arm flappers again and we're adding on walking stars. You might know walking stars as like a box step or I've actually just recently variously heard it called a V step. We're stepping forward, putting one hand up, stepping forward, putting the other hand up and then stepping back and stepping back. We're gonna change leader legs on that one though. Here we go with the forward hinge arm flappers, which is what makes it especially difficult for your coordination. This, this might be one of the most interesting transitions because we are from a fixed foot point here into our walking stars. Do your best. We're not trying to get a million reps done today, but what we are doing, here we go with those walking stars, forward, forward, back, back. Pick an apple and put it in your pocket, my friends. <laughs> We are working on endurance today. Not really cardio endurance because we are going up and down with our heart rate. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest, but rather we are working on muscle endurance. You guys, coming up next, we're on the highest step of this step stool. We're doing forward hinge arm flappers plus walking stars plus alley oops. So we go fixed feet, moving feet, fixed feet, alley oops. We've got our feet nice and wide. We're swooping over one way, coming down into a lunge and then swooping over the other way. Here we are with our forward hinge arm flappers. Awesome job, hands are doing jumping jacks. Lower body is really thinking about pushing back with your hips, forward with your hips 
hips, core is pulled in tight, of course. That's the thing about cardio toning is that sometimes we think it feels like cardio, so we're just kinda doing our thing. Here we go with walking stars, but don't forget that toning part. <laughs> when you've got something heavy in your hands, you really need to think about pulling in your core. You really need to think about excellent form. In fact, when in doubt, I mean, we should just always be thinking about excellent form. When it beats, we're doing those alley-oops. Feet are gonna be nice and wide. We're gonna swoop up overhead. So nice and wide, we're gonna come down into a lunge, swoop up overhead, come down into a lunge on the other side. Go ahead and keep your hands more or less together up at the top, and then when they come swooping down, Woo, doggies, you can really get them rocking. When it beeps again, we're getting 20 seconds of rest. This is our longest ah, work interval and we survived it. Now we're climbing back down this step stool. Forward hinge arm flappers plus those walking stars. But you guys, when we do a really thorough program like this with a little bit of everything, I know sometimes you might be thinking, okay, but I'm not doing a lot of anything. Here we go with forward hinge arm flappers. And it's true, we're not doing a lot of any one thing, but by making sure that we're working through all of our systems, slow work, fast work, power work, toning work, a little bit of everything over the course. Here we go with those walking stars. Boom, pick an apple, put it in your pocket. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. Over the course of one month, it's true, you're not gonna get a whole lot of training in any one kind of thing. You might feel like you are, depending, 20 seconds of rest. Depending on whether or not you've ever done this much strength work before, I mean, we do have dumbbells in our hands at least three times a week. That might be a lot for you. So you might be thinking, oh my gosh, we're doing nothing but strength. It's not true. We're doing plenty of cardio too. When it beeps again, we're doing those forward hinge arm flappers for the however many and final time. Excellent, excellent job. Just this one. And then we get more rest and then we're moving on. Oh my gosh, to our final step stool. The thing about doing a really thorough program like this is that over the course of one month, you will, I mean, you will see some results. You will feel some results. Here's 20 seconds of rest, and when it beeps again, we're doing ding-dongs. <laughs> Love ding-dongs. Our hands are swinging low, which really only means that they're not going overhead. They're actually gonna come up pretty high out to the side, but they're not going up over our head. While you're swinging to the side, that same foot is kicking out to that same side, Woo! Doggies! <laughs> Love this exercise. <laughs> I know they're all my favorites, but this one's my favorite favorite. <laughs> It's why I chose it for our final step stool and for the one that we do repeat at every step stool. So my friends, let's just have a little bit of fun with this. 20 seconds of rest, what it be again? We're gonna do that again, yay! We're gonna add on high hand oblique crunches, which means that we're gonna have our hands up overhead. You're gonna bring one knee up at a time while bringing the opposite elbow down to meet it in the middle. It's a quick moving, one hand up the whole time kind of thing. So ding-dongs first. Gonna feel it in our shoulders with this step stool. That was on purpose, it's our last step stool. You can do this. But my friends, over the course of several months, either repeating this program exactly as it is or something like it, where you've, you've chosen your own, here we go with those high hand, oblique crunches across your body. Excellent job. Whew, making sure that your core is pulled in tight. Having these hands up overhead, really feeling the work when it beeps again. Gonna get 20 seconds of rest. Excellent job. When you repeat a very, 20 seconds of rest, a very thorough workout program like this, any one adaptation that you make is probably gonna take a little bit longer because we're making so many, but over the course of several months, you will feel amazingly different. When it beeps again, doing those ding-dongs, yay, plus, here we go with the ding-dongs, plus the high hand oblique crunches when it beeps again, plus this time we're adding on goofy jacks. It's basically a jumping jack, absolutely no jumping though, where we do a little bit of a squat, your hands are doing jumping jacks, and one foot kicks out after that squat. Don't worry about it right now, we're doing high hand oblique crunches next, 
next. Both hands are going to be up, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Quick as you can, thinking about good form, thinking about having your core pulled in super duper tight. When it beats, going to bring those dumbbells down to like your chest area while we gub into a little bit of a squat. And then they'll come out into jumping jack arms. So a little squat, jumping jack arms, while we've got one whoo, foot moving. You can tell why this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was the last exercise of the last step stool. Oh my gosh, and this is why we're only doing this one one time. This is the point where it starts to feel like we're almost a little bit past moderate. Here's 20 seconds of rest, but then that was it. That was the longest interval. Those were the toughest exercises. When it beeps again, we're doing ding-dongs. I almost said dumbbells, that was super funny. <laughs> we're doing ding-dongs plus those high-hand oblique crunches. Bringing your heart rate down a little bit right now. I know, I know, you know what moderate feels like, but also this feels so fun. Sometimes it's kind of hard to moderate, but here's what I'm gonna tell you. Plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow, I don't know if it's gonna feel super moderate for you. We've got Sunday run day tomorrow. Feels moderate for me, but it might. It might be another one that kind of pushes you to the edge of not exactly moderate. Here we go with those high hand oblique crunches. Really had to think about that. <laughs> So thinking about tomorrow really informs what we're doing today. Making sure that we're keeping it moderate, making sure that we're fueling for tomorrow. Fueling for today too. You know, with a workout like this, again, the intensity, 20 seconds of rest. The intensity is right there, right at the edge of not moderate. Fuel for that. You might feel hungry today. Fuel for it. Making sure that you're getting ready for a moderate day tomorrow that might be a different kind of moderate for you. If you're not used to running, this is the first time you've done you know, significant running or walking. Here we go with dumb ding-dongs. <laughs> Dumbbell ding-dongs. <laughs> for the however many and final time, you guys. When it beeps again. Ah, I love it. When it beeps again. We're gonna get 20 seconds of rest. We are done, but we're not quite finished. We're gonna put our dumbbells down because as promised every single day this month when during this program, we're gonna be working on some balance. Coming up next, we're doing around the world kicks. I'm gonna start by sitting on my left foot. We're gonna kick forward, kick out to the side and kick back, forward, side, back, forward, side, back as many times as we can in 20 seconds. It's not gonna be a ton. We're gonna go back and forth and we're gonna end up doing each leg twice. So forward, side, and back, and yes, the pace is very different on this one. This is balance work. We're pulling in our core. We're thinking about moving slowly and with precision with this high heart rate. <laughs> yes, this is the magic of doing balance at the end of every workout. It's not easy. Let's switch sides, forward, side, and back. Awesome job. Easier to balance for me, harder to coordinate. My kicks feel very awkward. When it beeps again, we're coming back to that first foot. Like I said, we're gonna do each of these just twice. Awesome. Forward, side, and back. Very nice job. Thinking about pulling in your core, thinking about doing your best. You guys have been practicing balance for 10 years at this point. The only reason I can do this without falling over. I promise you that when I first started practicing balance, it looked like more of a practice than it does right now. Now it looks like balance. It used to always look like practice. And in fact, sometimes it still looks like practicing. When it beeps again, it's the very last time that it's gonna beep. You've done such a good job today. Whew, doggies, we are going to cool it down. Ah, and we're already gonna start looking forward to tomorrow. So planning for tomorrow. Here's what I was saying quite some time ago. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles with some tappers and cool this down. Because tomorrow is a cardio day. Whether you walk or run, it doesn't matter. Tomorrow is a cardio day. If, if today felt like slightly more than moderate, or you already know that tomorrow might feel like just right on the edge of moderate, not moderate, give yourself a little bit more fueling. You know, I'm telling you fuel your baseline, fuel your baseline, but it's always gonna be up to you to fuel appropriately. Appropriate for you is really based on your skill and your fitness level and how each of these workouts feel. It's why I tell you what we're doing tomorrow so that you can really kind of prepare yourself both physically and mentally. <laughs> for a 
Sunday run day. For me personally, it means that today's, today's fuel is probably going to be a little bit carby. Today's fuel is almost always carby for me, other than on strength day. And that's the thing, because we did strength today also, today might be a little bit proteiny. It's really going to be what feels best to you. And I do hope that you're paying attention and starting to notice some patterns. Let's go ahead and open up. Ha! Ah, oh my gosh, stretch out that chest. Doesn't it feel amazing? And then close it up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on the back. You guys, what a great job you did today. I hope that you found the exact right amount of moderate for you. Make sure before you go that you are ready for tomorrow, that you've downloaded the information resource, and also that you have clicked that subscribe button so that I'll be here on YouTube with you tomorrow. I'll see you then.